Hey guys, thanks for clicking on my video. Today I'm going to be trying out newer products that I haven't really played with. Um, either I haven't played with them in a while or I just haven't ever played with them before. And they're going to be some products from NYX, some products from Colourpop, Milani, and more. So if you guys want to see how this look came together and what I think about some of the newer products from those companies, then keep watching. So if you want to see how this look came together and you want to see how all of those products perform from the various companies I just mentioned, keep watching my video. Alright, I've already primed my eyelids with um, the concealer from L'Oreal True Match in the color W4-5. to I... this isn't like, like the one thing that I would do to make sure my makeup lasts forever. I just didn't have a primer right in front of me and it's all over there and I don't want to get it. I'm using this palette from NYX. It's called Lid Lingerie and it's part of... Um, this is the 01 palette. They have the two, one's a shimmery one, this one's the matte one. I really, really like this one. I've been using it a ton, um, pretty much every time I freelance for NYX, but I'm gonna use this guy here just to set everything down. I've been really liking this palette. It's just, it's all matte. I just wish there were maybe like a few more colors, but that's just, that's the only complaint. I do have several uh, pan, shadows from NYX that I've used before and I've depotted in my palettes. And they stayed in my collection for a while just because they're so great. Alright, I'm using the color that. <laughs> so I'm going to rock the eyeshadow like on the outer edge and then in the inner edge and just kind of like softly do it in the regular crease but doing it a little bit more firm in the inner and outer. So I've been wanting to play with these um, ColourPop Supernova shadows for a while. So this is like the perfect opportunity because I don't really have anywhere to go and I can just kind of test it. I have been playing with it a lot though, so I do have some feedback on how um, to best use them, but I'll talk about that later. I'm going to use this guy here now to deepen up the colors. I'm going to go in here. These blend really nice. Hmm, I kind of like the way that looks. Uh, I'm gonna go a little bit deeper though. I'm gonna do this guy. Again, these are all matte, so I just oh, I love the way they blend. So um, I did mention I've been freelancing for NYX. What's cool is that they were able to send over some, like kind of like, like gratis almost, so that we can kind of use some of the products and on ourselves, so that we can talk about them better. And um, there's so much good stuff from NYX. It's it's also very overwhelming to go to the little area, like at Ulta or even Walgreens, and just pick one or two things. There's so many items. Actually, my my Target has like a new um, display for NYX specifically, and it's. There's just so much stuff to choose from and all of it looks good and all of it, like, for the most part is. You just have to figure out what works best for you. It's been really fun, like, playing with all these NYX products lately. Alright, I'm going to take this first color again and then mix it with the second one. And just kind of bluff out on the edge. What I'm going to do now is use this special little product that came out. I think it was actually Black Friday is when it came out. I'm, I could be wrong. But I got three uh, ColourPop Supernova shadows. These are super cool. So I've been playing them with them for a little bit um, before I added it to my kit. And I think the best way to use these is to like take a brush and pick it up as opposed to using the applicator. I've just seen so many people online. I saw so many reviews with people using these and like using the actual applicator to put it on and while like yeah like you would think that, that should be the best way to do it I don't think it is um, it's just it applies too thick it, you're not able to spread it or blend it and um, damn these are so cool yeah so these have lasted me really well on my lids um, I've worn I did one like an entire day and it didn't flake or anything um, it's only when you're like touching it so just like I mean just with any eyeshadow, just don't touch your eyes. I just saw so many reviews basically like slamming these um, these glitter shadows and you know, going, oh they transfer. 
they, I mean, there's, these are people who were like really like messing with it. And so, yeah, like it would, of course it's going to transfer. So I, I say all that to say, you know, you have to just try it out and not always trust all the YouTubers because not everybody's a makeup artist. Like they just do makeup on themselves and they, you know, they just kind of do it for views and stuff like that. So it's just always such a interesting little act that they, that some YouTubers put on to get views. So anyways, that's that's that. So I'm going to use my Soap and Glory One Heck of a Block Primer. I did an entire video about this primer and a different primer. And um, I did a battle, basically, on two different primers, both from Ulta. You can buy them at Ulta, at least. One was an Ulta brand, and it was this one. And I'll give you a hint, this one won. It lasted much better, but I really want you guys to watch that video so you can see exactly how it lasted. It was a pretty dramatic difference, especially if you have oily skin like me. So go watch that one. I'll link it at the end. For my foundation today, I'm using the L'Oreal Pro Glow. I haven't used this in a while. This one's great, 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 especially during the winter time. It's just such a good foundation because it does feel very nourishing, but it also still gives you full coverage, but it doesn't make your skin feel dry and gross. You know what I mean? This is just such a good coverage. I was talking to um, a client. I was doing her makeup for her wedding. Actually, it was a bridesmaid I was doing. And where she's like, oh, you know, oh no, I just wear a drugstore. And I was like, ooh, tell me about it. And I, I know that like whenever like we talk about makeup, like people assume that I just only use high-end on my personal, um, or I only like high-end. And that's just not true. I love drugstore makeup. So I get really excited when I get to talk about makeup with you know, other girls who use drugstore makeup. I always want to know what they're using. And anyways, I was telling her about this foundation and she was really excited. She wears the L'Oreal True Match and um, I asked her if she wore this one before and she hadn't, so I was like, you gotta try it. It's really good, you'll love it. For concealer, I'm using the Master Conceal in 40 Medium. I haven't used this one in a long time, I'm not sure why. I like using like a regular like skin tone, like my face tone. For my concealer, actually it's pretty light. Um, and then brightening it up with a lighter concealer. So I always like to take like a regular skin tone concealer, put it on, and then add highlight later on. But this looks really good actually. I don't know why I stopped using this. Oh, I know why, because I was using it in the summer and it was just way too light in the summertime. This is like perfect now actually. So whenever you're doing like a job shadow, I always recommend to do your concealer first, set it, and then add the drop shadow. Just make sure you tap off your brush so that there's no fallout, but because it's much harder to clean, especially since you've done your concealer. So, for the most part, it doesn't happen to me. I tap off my brush really well, but that would be my suggestion. Damn, I like that concealer a lot. All right, I'm gonna use a little bit of my uh, Ben Nye powder, the banana. I just repackaged it in this little guy because. It's just a much easier way to distribute the product onto my sponge. And then I also just take whatever's on the cap, so. I use that to set on the nose area. Pretty much anywhere where I will get oily, which is all down the center of my face. It's just fun, fun. All right, now I'm taking my L'Oreal powder. I think this might be a little bit too dark for me at this point. Um, unfortunately though, I don't even know what color this is because it doesn't stay on the packaging. It said on the closure, and that's been long gone. <laughs> Alright, now that everything's set, I think I want to go back to my eyeballs. I'm going to use this eyeliner pen. This is from NYX. It's called their Epic Ink Liner. I really like this one, except I think that their matte eyeliner is better. I mean, obviously it's matte. This one isn't completely matte. I wish it was, but I like the applicator. I like how easy it is. I like how it's like a brush tip. So I'm going to do, uh, I think I'll do a wing, actually. I'm going to curl my lashes and put my mascara on. This is the um, Lash Voluminous Paradise. And then I'm also going to add on some Salon Perfect Lashes. They are in the style Demi Wispies. It's just like the classic ones. And I'm also going to fill in my brows. I'm going to put the Anastasia Brow Powder in... Um, dark brown through my brows and then I'll be right back. 
All right, I'm back with lashes and brows. Um, okay, so I think what I'm gonna do now is add some bronzer. I'm actually using my matte bronzer in the color medium. I used to use the deep one, and it just was a little bit too tan for me, like now-ish. So I'm gonna use the medium one, and it's been working really well. It's a good like orangey, a little bit pinky, so you can kind of pull this off on the on the blush area, which is what I do a ton. I just like the way it's been turning out. And then for my blush, I'm using a really old, old blush from NYX. This one's in the color Cinnamon. I just love orange blushes. I love anything peachy, cantaloupe This is my favorite on tan skin. Love that. My highlight. I'm just going to use my Whisper of Guilt. They had like the new collections that came out and it Whisper of Guilt was re-promoted and it's just one of my favorite highlights. It just always makes my skin look amazing. And you guys got to remember this was like the OG. This was the one that every highlight tried to mimic before MAC came out with it again and again and again. Alright, I'm going to spray my face with the Milani Make It Last Spray and let that kind of set in. I'm taking the uh, two lightest, or the, the second one, and then this one. I don't even know what to, how to describe. The second color that I use in my eyes, and I'm mixing them together with that last one, the second to last, and I'm gonna kind of rub that under the lashes. And then with my mascara, I'm just gonna add some of that on the bottom lashes. It's always really important to kind of finish off the look with bottom lash mascara. It will make such a difference. I know a lot of people, uh, whenever I do clients, I will often hear people going, oh, I never put uh, mascara on my bottom lashes. And let me tell you, it does something really, really beautiful to the eye shape. It kind of rounds it out. It makes it look bigger. Um, not to say that you, you, know, you have to, because I think there's definitely some looks that look really cute with no bottom lash line mascara but um, if you've never done it I would try it just so you can see what it looks like I bought the Milani liners um, I bought originally the natural and natural is like just a hint like past my lip color so I'm gonna do um, the color I think I want to do spice let me try spice and see what that looks like mm, that's pretty spice is pretty but I wanted to go deeper all right this one's in the color uh, 12 Bordeaux. Oh, that's deep. I like that. Okay, we're gonna go with this one. That's really pretty. I want to do that on the whole lip, but I want to try on another lip product. This is a Super Clicky by NYX. These feel like lipsticks, but they just last really well. Um, they're not meant to last like liquid lipsticks by any means, but they just they have like a really good creamy texture that just sticks to the lips really well. And I really like this color. This one's in the color um, Risk Taker. It's just like an off red. It's almost like a red. So you click it as opposed to twisting it up. The only thing is that you can't click it down, so you have to be careful you don't go too far. Oh, this is so pretty. This is like a really good, like, rich berry. Almost red, not quite red. But this, you can't really do that rubby lip thing, but I think it's still amazing. Um, I'm gonna add a little bit more bronzer just because sometimes whenever you're adding, like, a darker lip or you're adding a red lip, you just need a little bit more bronzy to kind of even out the skin. I take a brow product for my Beauty Marks. Alright guys, that's the finished makeup. What do you guys think? This was kind of fun. I would love to try on these new products. Okay, I'm going to do a little rundown of some of the newer products that I tried today. So, starting with the eyes, that eyeshadow palette is really great. The NYX, um, NYX eyeshadows are just so, like they're such good quality and um, they're really inexpensive. Their palettes are worth the money. Every single one of them. There was one that had like almost pressed pigment type 
of shadows and those sold out so quickly at Ulta I didn't even get to get my hands on it um, but the one that I'll use today that one the lingerie versions that one's amazing these colors I've been using non-stop and I have not been able to put it down so with the eye color you know when you put it on your hand it does flake away in the supernova but again I think when you apply it on straight on it's kind of like a dangerous little territory to cross so I would just take it with your finger or a brush and then apply it so I'm gonna just add a little bit more just to kind of spread it a little higher oh I didn't do a good job there I go yeah but I think these are really cute so they're like about seven bucks, these guys, and I think they're worth it. These lashes are actually okay. They're a little bit too straight. They're not as like um, choppy, but they're just okay. So this bronzer is amazing. I really like it. It's very orangey, which I like, and um, it is a little bit lighter than that deep color that I used to always talk about. But this, I think the texture is really great, and um, I'm really glad that I got a more affordable bronzer to add to my collection because I love bronzers. Oh yeah, and going back to this guy, this is great. If you haven't tried it, try it out. Um, somebody gave me a really good suggestion on trying the Pixie primer, and I did go to Target today, and um, they were all out of the testers. So I'm gonna wait for them to come back with like the or the samples sizes. Um, I'm gonna wait for them to come out with those again so I can try it out. But thank you for the suggestion. I think it was Wendy. I'm pretty sure. So thanks, girl. And then this lip, y'all. This lip's everything. I really love it. It's just like a beautiful creamy. Um, long-lasting lipstick. It's not meant to last forever. It's just a longer-lasting one. So if you haven't tried the Clicky, super Clicky um, lipsticks by NYX, these are really great. I love the way they apply. They're super creamy. They um, they just are like a full color pigmented lipstick that sometimes the mattes from other co like companies they just are a little bit too stiff. These are still creamy, but they give you that matte finish. And I feel safe. I feel confident in this. I don't feel like it's going to smudge or anything like that. All right, guys. Thanks so much for hanging out with me and trying on new makeup with me. I really hope you guys enjoyed it. If you guys want to see more tutorials, let me know in the comments below what you would want to see. In the meantime, you guys can check out my primer battle. I already told you guys the winner. However, I think it's still a really good video so you can see exactly how it wears. So you can see for yourself how, how well one performs over the other. I think that's it, you guys. Thanks so much for watching. I'll see you guys later. Bye.